So did you have to groom her? Was she, she, did she always have this body? Stand up just a moment, because no one saw you come in standing up. Now this is what I call a bod. <laughs> very good, very good. You're what, are you about 5'9", 5'10"? 5'9", and I tried to stay around 120. When you look at it through today's eyes, when Oprah's like, stand up and show me your body, show us why you're worthy of being here. Oprah Winfrey has been problematic for a long time. Fans are discussing her controversial moments after Cindy Crawford shared her feelings on their 1986 interview. Oprah objectified her and spoke about her in a dismissive way. It's a gross moment and now Oprah's team is scrubbing the internet to try to protect her. So let's get into it. We've talked about Oprah before on my channel, but recently she's been trending for all the wrong reasons. Honestly, Oprah isn't this holy grail. She has had a problematic past before, which we've done a deep dive on, but recently Cindy Crawford called out Oprah for treating her like an object on her show, having her show off her body at the age of 20, which just kind of speaks to where we were as society at this time. Recently, there's a new New documentary series that came out titled The Models, which I actually watched last night and I came across this moment. Cindy has called out Oprah over their 1986 interview in which the famous TV host asked the then 20-year-old model to show off her body on national television. This was her first time going on national television. She had her agent there with her, rooting for her, saying that she was going to be the next biggest model, which she was. In the snippet shown in the documentary, Oprah is heard introducing the stunning young model before she asks did she always have this body stand up just a moment now that's what I call a body which you know she's trying to compliment her figure but it also speaks to where we were like with the beauty standards like everyone has to be super thin and model-esque and Oprah is just looking at her like she's a piece of property to this agent of course Cindy is 20 years old she's at the beginning of her career so she's going to comply reports write that Cindy proceeded to smile nervously as she stood up and allowed the audience and viewers at home to take a look at her frame. At one point in the interview, Oprah even asked John, the agent, so did you have to groom her or did she always have this body? This is unbelievable. Cindy. From DeKalb to New York. That's a long journey. Yes. Yeah, so. Where'd you discover her? Well, she was actually discovered by my partner, Jane Stewart, from Elite here in Chicago and entered into our Look of the Year contest where she was one of the finalists. Um, and that's how we start our relationship. So did you have to groom her? Was she, she, did she always have this body? <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> Stand up just a moment, because no one saw you come in standing up. Now this is what I call a bod. <laughs> Very good, very good. But I'm not, not, I don't weigh 100 pounds. I'll tell that lady on the phone that I do not weigh 100 pounds. You're what, are you about 5'9", 5'10"? 5'9", and I tried to stay around 120. Okay. They're not even really acknowledging Cindy. They're talking about her right in front of her like she can't speak for herself. Reflecting on how she felt in that moment, Cindy admitted, I was like the chattel or a child be seen and not heard. She continues, when you look at it through today's eyes, Oprah's like, stand up and show me your body. Show us why you're worthy of being here. In the moment, I didn't recognize it. And watching it back, I was like, oh gosh, that was really not okay, really. Especially from Oprah. Be seen and not heard. When you look at it through today's eyes, when Oprah's like, stand up and show me your body, like show us why you're worthy of being here. In the moment, I didn't recognize it, only when I looked back at it and I was like, oh my gosh, that was so not okay, really, especially from Oprah. Now this interview has been available online for people to watch, but Oprah and her team strategically removed it when she started getting backlash. So she went onto the YouTube channel, removed this video so you guys can't see it. So what is Oprah hiding? I mean, we already know that she's friends with Epstein and those kind of people, Harvey Weinstein, all the bad guys. Elsewhere in the clip, Oprah directed several questions towards John, who spoke on Cindy's behalf because, oh God forbid, she speaks for herself. When Oprah quizzed him about whether the agency had put the model through a training period, he responded, with Cindy, it was much more psychological. She wasn't really sure if she wanted to model. Little by little, her ambition is growing. Quote, she's getting a sense, and I'm saying it now on this program, if she wants to be, she can be number one in the business. And she did end up becoming number one in the business, but she had to go through a lot. So did you have to do anything with her? Did she have to go through that training period or no? 
Well, with Cindy, in terms of looks, uh, it was very easy. It was much more uh, psychologically. She was uh, not sure she really wanted to model. Uh, she yeah. didn't uh, see the, 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 I think, as clearly as we did, the potential that she had. So it's been a very slow process. You know, I'm, I'm still trying to get her out more often yeah. uh, to Paris and to New York and all that. For her, it was more a question of mental stability. She wanted to feel good and comfortable, and that came before her, it was her career objectives. Really? We've been uh, patient, and, and it's been paying, because little by little, her ambition is growing, I think, with she's getting a sense that she could be, and I'm saying it now on this program, if she wants to, she can be maybe the number one in the business. If she oh, really well, wants Cindy. to go out there and get it. <laughs> Wake up and smell Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, this moment reminds me a lot of that Oprah Winfrey and Olsen twins moment where she's talking about their body and it's just incredibly uncomfortable and pretty insensitive. Okay. I know I, I know there's a new rumor that's recently surfaced that has really upset you, right? Uh, you know, the one about eating. Yeah, you know, people are going to write what they want to write. I, we try not to read the good or the bad because it just kind of comes with the territory, mm -hmm. you know, either... You're too fat, you're too skinny, and people are just going to write what they... they what size are you, by the way? Size? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. sure. You're I not sure? Girls and, oh, you know. that's so interesting. <laughs> So yeah, Oprah has had her problematic moments making women feel less than and completely objectifying them just like some of the worst men out here. Cindy's agent's prediction came true, she became number one, but Cindy highlighted how hard she was working to make it during the early days of her career. She said she would often pass out from hunger during grueling shoots. She stated, I was 20 years old, I had dropped out of college to model in Chicago, and it was great, I was making $1,000 a day. The main business there was was catalog. There was one main photographer named Victor, and he was the big fish in a little pond. Victor was definitely a mentor in the fashion industry. When Victor said, you don't move, you didn't move. So those moments were like a photographer is telling the model like, don't move, perfect shot. She was expressing how tense that was and how it's also really hard when you are starving. Cindy says, I passed out there more than once, especially right before lunch. You pass out and you would faint and then they would prop you back up and you would do it all over again. Cindy Crawford also admitted that during this time, she would pass out from hunger during crueling shoot days. She's quoted as saying, I was 20 years old. I dropped out of college to model in Chicago and it was great. I was making $1,000 a day. Cindy Crawford also spoke out about uh, her awkward on-air encounter with Barbara Walters. Cindy Crawford slammed Barbara Walters for asking probing questions about her when she was just 15 years old. We've seen enough Barbara Walters interviews to know that she certainly asked probing questions. Uh, Barbara Walters allegedly asked Cindy Crawford her measurements and asked her to stand up. And she's comparing her to a little girl. And Cindy said, but I, I just behaved and I smiled and felt like so taken advantage of in so many ways. Cindy continued on, but over the years, you know when you've been in the public eye and have been commented on all the time, everybody has an opinion and you all get to say it. And now that's where social media I think can be dangerous. Then you learn to say, no, this is my truth. Cindy's candid comments about Oprah's interview offer an intriguing glimpse into the scandals that may emerge from this four-part series. I only watched episode one, but it is really interesting because these girls had to go through a lot and they really were the subject of a ton of scrutiny. Back then, being a model was a big deal because we didn't have social media, so you were constantly viewing their image all over. And they had to go through a lot, including addiction, relationship issues, and equality, and I think this documentary is going to expose it all. It's the first time we're all together in our 50s. You see our photo, so you feel that you know us. When you come together with your chosen family, I think that's emotional. There's something about that shared history that we have. I feel blessed that we're here today. We've all gone through so many things in our own lives. But nonetheless, Oprah Winfrey is getting the first wave of backlash. And honestly, I feel like deleting this video from YouTube is kind of an admission of guilt. At this time, Oprah isn't saying anything. She's deleting it and trying to hope that we move on. Oprah Winfrey was just exposed for trying to evade accountability and being rather shady. Oprah quietly deletes controversial Cindy Crawford interview from her YouTube after Supermodel called her out for treating her like chattel by telling her to flaunt her body on air to prove she was worthy of fame. Yes. Right after the documentary aired, uh, 
the this specific episode was removed from YouTube from Oprah's YouTube channel. That is so shady. I'm sorry. The video had been available to watch for the past three years, and now it is not. Oprah says before, stand up a moment. Now this is what I call body. Did she always have this body? Is what she asked John Casablanca about Sidney Crawford. Like Sidney Crawford wasn't a whole ass 20 year old woman that could fucking speak for herself. Her reps have nothing to say, and I don't think they're going to say anything. I think it's going to be like a David Dobrik situation where you ignore and you try to move on, but then everyone still knows you're not the best person. But I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Leave a comment, and I'll see you in a new video soon. Bye, guys.